people think of Groundhog Day as the American holiday centered around a groundhog who emerges from his burrow to see if he sees his shadow. If he does, that means six more weeks of winter. But this tradition is not originally American. It actually started way back in ancient Ireland with a pagan festival called Imbolc, which involves, at least to some extent, weather prediction. The beginning of February also happens to be midway between winter solstice and spring equinox. Imbolc is still celebrated today by neo-pagans and Wiccans. In the 18th century, a Pennsylvanian German custom, with origins in ancient weather lore, had a badger as the weather predictor. Groundhogs were used instead because badgers had not been found in Pennsylvania, but there was an abundance of groundhogs. It is not known whether Imbolc is related to this Pennsylvania German tradition. Like many other pagan holidays, Imbolc was Christianized into a holiday called St. Bridget's Day, which is still practiced today by many Catholics and other Christians as the Feast of the Purification of the Virgin. Now that I've explained a little of the history of this holiday, I would like to talk about what it means to me. First, I appreciate the fact that groundhogs happen to be in the squirrel family, Sciuridae, which is my favorite family of animals. Secondly, because groundhogs are a part of nature, and according to tradition predict acts of nature, I would classify it as a green holiday, much like Earth Day or Arbor Day. Indeed, I have personally witnessed heightened squirrel activity on the day before a storm. Groundhog Day may be a reminder to find out what nature is telling us by taking notice of the littlest things in nature, even if the predictions of groundhogs turn out false. In conclusion, it's interesting to note that the prediction of six more weeks of winter would take it to the day before St. Patrick's Day he had another green holiday.